Well hi guys, Mark here. We're here today at Paul Moto in the south of England and Paul Moto have just uh, become dealers for BSA. So I thought I'd take an another look at the, uh, the Gold Star. So if you stay tuned, I'll let you know my thoughts on it. Well, hi guys, Mark here, and welcome to day two of review on the BSA Gold Star. And again, many thanks to Paul Moto for lending me this bike today. So we just run through all the specifications. So these have actually dropped in price since I last tried them out about a year ago. Uh, this green one that you're looking at now is coming in at £4,999. So the red, silver and black are coming in at 5499 uh, the legacy silver is 5999 and so is the shadow black so a really good value for money especially this one at 4999 uses the uh, brilliant rotax engine which is 652 cc it's liquid cooled single cylinder double overhead cam loads of torque lots of pull from low rpm very very smooth indeed for a single cylinder so that's very impressive i said it's uh, got two spark plugs this one has as well Dry, dry sump on this so uh, interesting that you've got the uh, the chain drivers on the uh, the right hand side of the bike not seen that for many many years it's producing 45 horsepower at 6500 rpm so as you can see it's not about revs this bike you know it's about just sort of chugging along between about sort of three four five thousand torque is 55 newton meters at again a low 4000 rpm Five-speed gearbox on this, nice and smooth, positive with a very, very light clutch. Tires, we've got a 100 section on the front. Pirelli Phantom, they're good, good tires, good grip, suit this sort of style of bike well. 18-inch uh, front wheel and a 17-inch rear wheel with a 150 section. 12-litre fuel tank. Uh, these do around about 70 miles to the gallon UK, so you're going to get about 150 miles, which is excellent. Uh, sort of traditional looking analog clocks, got your USBs just there, cigarette lighter socket just there. It's got a nice low seat height of 780 mil. It's a very very well padded seat, nicely detailed with the stitching. And the little Union Jack badge there. Just take a quick look at me on this bike. Uh, I'm five foot seven tall with a 30 inch inside leg, 170 centimeters. I can easily flat foot it. Then you can compare that for yourself. So this is coming in at 213 kilograms wet weight, but on the move it doesn't feel too heavy at all. So these are made in India by Mahindra, and say so it's a Rotax engine, so uh, nice, nicely put together. Uh, these forks are 41 mil telescopic, and we've got twin rear shocks which are preload adjustable. Got single discs front and rear by Brembo that give really good stopping power, quite impressed by those. But you know, lots of nice old school touches when you go around the bike, very nicely detailed, which certainly does look the part. Got three and a half thousand mile service intervals on these and 14,500 miles for the valves. Uh, the warranty is now two years 
plus another two years they've added two years extra warranty on so four years in total top speed about 100 miles an hour so anyway guys let's do the test ride okay bsa gold star what a beauty so nice low seat height of 780 very easy to swing a leg over and at five foot seven 170 centimeters i'm very easily flat footed on this the bike feels very very solid it's got a nice weight to it a very very big comfortable seat i just run through all these controls so it's got a very light um, cable clutch got your flasher high and low beam indicators horn got your info button just to change it on the trips to trips and odometer there engine kill hazards and start so really simple but that's what these bikes are all four got usb there and a cigarette lighter socket down below so just turn the key start her up straight away you've got that lovely single cylinder thump right away we go it's a welcome aboard again the um bsa gold star and uh i'd forgotten uh, what a fantastic bike this is to ride you know i absolutely love these retro looking classic bikes and um this one really rides superbly so let's just run through it all again uh, the mirrors pretty much in keeping with this style of bike there's a little bit of vibration in them what you would expect from a, a big thumping single cylinder but on the whole a clear view behind i can see a bit of my elbows but not too bad so i can see speed and revs and you've got your warning lights up there so all nice and simple back to basics motorcycling so this uh, single cylinder rotax engine has got loads of torque it's got 45 horsepower but it's got an incredible amount of torque you know 3000 revs here if i just open it up it really does pull strongly and there's no vibrations that are annoying all you can feel is like a nice thump through the foot peg so it's um all good on that on that front riding position is near as near enough dead upright very nice padded seat suspensions pretty basic you know telescopic forks rear shocks at the back but it does give a very very compliant ride over these bumps down here no sort of nasty shocks coming up through my back um, all in all a very good comfortable quality solid ride plenty of leg room and I say I'm five foot seven but if you were six foot lots of leg room down here all right we'll just try the brakes out front and rear together and that is extremely good for single disc up front is very powerful so it's going to short shift it through this lovely mid-range no need to over rev this bike all the power is kind of between about three and five thousand rpm so it's a very very lazy relaxed engine so at an indicated 60 which is actually 57 true i've gps checked it we're doing just under 4000 rpm so very very lazy engine just what you want on a bike like this all the switch gear is nice and easy to use nice and simple no uh, no complicated electronics on this whatsoever back brake yeah that's got lots of bike to it so just in top gear now just winding it open 40 50 60 so you see that rotax 650 engine is a real gem it's very smooth and tractable you're going to get at least 70 to the gallon out of this uk i would say so uh, a very economical cheap bike to ride uh, easy to service all right so how does the um gold star ride at the uh the lower speeds i'm currently in third gear just purring along just under 30 mile an hour 3000 revs and that is really really smooth throttle response it's um not too bad I and mean, it's off the throttle on the throttle not too snatchy rolls on nicely pop it into fourth gear still holding fourth no problem 
drop it down to third. Yeah, third's the happy place for it at 30. Yeah, the engine's just purring along, fuel injection feels nice. It's not hunting or surging at the low speeds, which some of these bikes can do. Feels are very, very controllable. Back brake's got a nice bit of control there. Clutch is light, down to second gear now. If you open it up, it goes. So that's a, it's got loads of uh, bottom end power. But just for pottering along if you're going to work or commuting through traffic. Very nice manners. I can't feel any heat from the engine. It's a warm day today. So um, there we are. All good on the Gold Star for the low speeds. Let's just see how the Gold Star rides at the uh, slightly higher speeds. Pulling really nicely, three, four, five thousand revs. Into top gear now, 70 mile an hour indicated, and we're doing four and a half thousand revs. So that's nice, it's uh, very relaxed at speed. I can barely feel the engine down below. Very, very smooth for a single cylinder, that's impressive to say the least. If I open it up in top, wide open, it's got plenty more to go and it's still smooth, so um, that's good. So this is where like the 650s shine over the smaller 350 sort of style bikes. But slow it down to about 65, that's just really nice. Just a nice little pulse coming through the foot pegs. Wind blast is acceptable. So, um, yeah, this is a uh, really, really good. I just open up a bit in top. Very easy overtaking. If I drop it down to fourth. Get the revs up a bit. Little bit of a buzz coming through the foot pegs, but all in all, very, very smooth for a single cylinder. So there you have it, guys. The uh, the BSA Gold Star, absolutely fine on the uh, motorways and dual carriageways at the higher speeds. Very impressive. Just going up through the gearbox now. Very uh, positive extremely light clutch it's really nice it's just that the torque the sort of the grunt from low rpm is really addictive it's very smooth and it responds instantly to your throttle throttle response 55 now wind it open it's quite mellow on the throttle Handling can best be described as relaxed. Um, it feels very stable. It's a very nice ride quality. It just literally just sort of purrs along with that big single beneath me. Well, I'll just drop it down to um, third and we'll sort of open it up, see how it goes. So about 35, wide open. And there's your 60 very quickly so even though it's got 45 horsepower it does feel a bit stronger because of that strong torque from the big single but this is a bike that's just absolutely built for just cruising like this in the countryside unhurried uh, the seat is very very comfortable it's a nice big dual seat you want to take a passenger now, I'm very impressed with the way this rides it's going over all these bumps very well indeed yeah the Pirelli Phantom tires provide good grip and feedback feels like quite a long wheelbase it's very relaxed in the corners Tiny little bit of wallow there around the bends, but um, nothing untoward for a bike of this style. So, you know, you might be saying, 
thinking about say a Royal Enfield 350 but might be on the fence a bit because for you it's not enough power at 20 horsepower 70 mile an hour these sorts of bikes you know the uh, Interceptor 650 or the Gold Star give you that nice bit of extra power and speed top speed on this is about 100 miles an hour so um might be worth thinking about one of these because they've just got that nice bit of useful extra power they'll cruise at 70 with a lot more to spare but this really does ride exceptionally nice it's a it's a fun machine I've forgotten how uh, smooth the engine is for a single the fueling feels very good so um, there we are guys well we'll just uh, have a little final thoughts down here oh that front brake is very good indeed just going down that very smooth gearbox let's see what it's like into neutral oh straight into neutral that's good well, I'll just put it onto high beam have a look at that so there you go just totally standard halogen bulbs on this in, in keeping with this sort of style of bike really but absolutely fine so a uh, little sound check these do sound apparently absolutely fantastic with the um the, I think the baffle can come out of these or um, aftermarket exhausts but even standard it sounds really nice brilliant so there you are guys BSA gold star every bit as brilliant as I remember just uh, have an up close look at it so uh, 18 inch front wheel so uh, still turns very well very good quality suspension on this it's basic but it, it rides really well feels very solid very planted uh, that engine is an absolute gem uh, very smooth very talky and relaxed just just a perfect engine really for you know uk riding and it's just nice it's got that extra bit of power over like the 350s so um this green looks very nice but it's available in lots of different colors But yeah, looking around it, all looks really good indeed. There's your coolant there. Let's see what it's like off the side stand. I mean, it's a little bit weighty, but nothing too bad. It's got a very good steering lock on it, so uh, quite easy to turn around. Decent side stand. So there. So there you have it, guys. The BSA Gold Star, uh, a great-looking bike. Well priced now. Um, have you got one of these? Have you had it for probably about six months, nine months? They've been out for quite a while now. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Don't forget to give me a like. Please share and subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you again in a week or so for another review. Ride safe, guys. All the best, and bye for now.